Just kidding. If you thought it was just Finn, it's both of us here. Catching waves yoga with Finn and Leslie. And a new horizontal view because, you know, you just get the best when you see it this way. So, um, I'll apologize in advance if I have to move and let him out because he's going to keep eyeing that door because Lenny's on the opposite side who's probably going to paw. It's going to be an interesting, interesting live tonight. So, if you are here, it doesn't tell me anymore. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Tell me that you're here in the comments because otherwise, it's a real weird feeling when you feel like you're alone doing yoga, talking to no one. Yeah. Take that in for a second. <laughs> and then whenever you're ready, you know the drill. Get your water. Come on down to your mat. Have a sip. Maybe up two. Start your watches if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, oh, if you didn't figure out, flip your phone so you can see me the right way. Put on that auto lock on your phone so you know your screen doesn't try to rotate on you and you know what I'm saying. So anyway, come on down. Let's do some Dan yoga. So get in a nice comfortable seat. Put your hands in your lap. Sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Tuck your chin towards that back wall as we're breathing. And with that next breath, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. Take another big inhale. Just notice what part of your body is moving. Some of you might notice only your chest is lifting. Maybe even your shoulders are really tight and tense and lifted. Some of you maybe notice this full breath going to the base of your lungs. Bet you guys have been hanging out with me for a while. If you're the people that are just breathing through your chest, with that next inhale, I want you to really focus on feeling a lift through the entire front side of your body. So take a big inhale, press that air to the base of your lungs. Inhale. Exhale, use your abs, press that air out. Inhale, feel the expansion. Exhale, let it go. Great. Go ahead and release your hands down. You can open your eyes if you would like. He's hanging out in the corner. He's angry. He can't get out. <laughs> oh, it's already starting, you guys. So, we focus on our breathing. We always start there, right? We use the diaphragm to help move our lungs to the maximum that we possibly can to get the deepest breath. So, keep doing that throughout our practice. But right now, I want you to take a big inhale and lift your arms all the way up. Look up. And exhale, float your hands down to your side. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. One more just like that. In, big breath. Exhale, press it out. Great. You can just release your hands down by your hips. Inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them back and down your spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, looping. One more, in and out. Great job. Go ahead and bring that right hand down to the mat, fingers pointing to that side wall. Inhale, lift your left arm up overhead and lean to the right. If this is uncomfortable to have your arm up here, you can bring your fingertips to your shoulders or even your hands down onto your hips. Just really think of pulling your left ribs towards that left wall. You can start to walk your right hand away from the body, coming down onto the forearm if that's available. Turn your chest towards the sky here. Focus on your breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more in. And out. Inhale, all the way up, arms up and overhead, big stretch. 
Exhale, release only that left arm. Lean to the left side. Turn your chest towards the ceiling here. And again, play around with that left hand now. See if you want to come down onto your forearm. Feel your right ribs going towards that right wall. Really using your breath to completely fill up your lungs. One more breath here. In and out. Inhale all the way back up. Big stretch here. And exhale. Release your hands down to your side. We're actually going to come onto our back. So turn your body as needed. Plant those feet. Pull your knees right into your chest. Give them a little tug here. Take a big inhale, holding still. And exhale. Inhale, I want you to extend just your right leg. Go ahead and catch your calf or your thigh, whatever is comfortable here. Point your toes towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, flex that foot. Really press your heel all the way up. Begin to pull your leg towards your body as comfortably as you can here. Point your toes. Flex your toes. Point and flex. Point and flex. Great job. Go ahead and release that leg down. We're going to switch to the opposite side. So really lengthen through that left leg here, getting as straight as you possibly can. So again, finding that position in your legs. You have to be out here to keep them straight. That's fine. Right? So inhale, point. And exhale, flex. Keep it going. Try to connect the movement to your breath here. Finn's going to get real close to you guys. What you don't see on that side of the screen is, uh, you know, our gym completely rearranged. So I can record this for you. All right, go ahead and release it down. Bring both of your knees right into your chest. Take your hands underneath of your knees here and just begin to get a little rock. First, just lifting your tailbone and then engaging, rocking all the way through, rolling. And with that next roll, come all the way up to a seat, cross at your ankles, and we're going to stand all the way up, facing that front wall. We're doing a no arm yoga today, so it'll keep any pressure, if I have any of my TOS people here, it'll keep any pressure off of your chest, off of your shoulders. So it's really awesome for everyone. Every once in a while, we're going to work lots of our legs. So bring those toes in nice and close, heels together, straighten through your legs, inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And exhale, float them down to your side. I want you to send your heels out towards the edges of your mat. So we're coming to this pigeon toe here. Your knees might bend, that's okay. Cross into that back wall, send your hips forward. Again, lift those arms all the way up. Big stretch here. Make sure your thumbs are pointing to that back wall. Release your belly with that inhale. Exhale, contract, press the air out. One more breath here. And exhale, release your hands, point your toes forward, get a bend, get a little wiggle through your body, find that freedom. And then inhale, come back to center, standing up nice and tall, loop your shoulders back and down your spine, take a big breath in and out. Great, go ahead and just turn towards the center of your mat right now, pointing your toes towards that front wall. Bring your hands right onto your hips, press your chest forward, pull your elbows back, look up, big stretch here through your chest. And exhale, relax, give me a little shoulder roll here. Inhale, lifting through that chest, elbows come back, tuck your tailbone under. And exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up, look up. And as we exhale, keep your arms lifted. Begin to send your hips to the wall behind you. Coming into our halfway lift, right here, halfway. And then exhale, forward fold. Releasing your upper body over that lower body with a nice wide stance here. Tuck your chin into your chest. And just take a moment to feel the stretch through your legs. If it's too much, give a little bend in your knees here. Press your fingertips into that floor. Inhale, lengthen into our halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Bring your hands on your hips, slow and controlled. We're going to roll all the way up to standing. And as we exhale, I want you to turn your toes to the right side of your mat, come onto the ball of that back foot. Find your balance, and then when you're ready, lift your arms up and overhead, or you can bring them down at your heart here. Find the arm position that's going to be comfortable for your body. Make sure your hips are turning towards that front edge of your mat, and you're tucking that tailbone under. If you need to step in slightly, do that. Always make those modifications for your body. Lift through your chest, pull your elbows back, take a big breath. Exhale, see if you can sink a little lower in that, that, that front knee. Inhale, press through that front foot, lengthen. Exhale, lower. See if you can get your arms involved. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop your elbows towards the floor as you lower, getting that bend in that front leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. One to go. Great job. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. Turn yourself towards the front of that room again. Point your toes forward. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Big stretch. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Holding it here. Get a nice big deep bend into your knees. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow and just begin to find a little sway side to side. You can start to press through your legs as you create this almost figure eight swaying of the upper body. And just begin to find that extension through your legs here. Connect the movement to the breath, inhaling. And exhale. And do two more. And then come back into center. Release your hands down. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands onto your hips. Bend those knees. Roll all the way up to standing. Shake it all out. And then when you're ready, we're going to turn to that left side this time. Coming onto the ball of that right foot behind you. <laughs> he just gave you a funny face, you guys. <laughs> Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. And exhale. Let it go. And again, playing around with lifting through that front leg. Exhale, sinking those elbows down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale, in and out. One more. Great job. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Release that back heel down. Point your toes towards that wall in front of you. Big stretch all the way up. Look up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You're going to bend in that left knee, releasing it all the way down to the floor. Sweep that right leg back behind as you come opposite direction onto your mat. And you're going to send your hips to your heels, coming into our child's pose. Just taking a moment to catch your breath. Bring that heart rate down. Keep your arms extended overhead, eyes closed. And just breathe. Big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more. In. And out. And just let that breath come to a nice normal rhythm through the nose again. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. And if 
that next inhale, we're gonna come all the way up into our all fours tabletop position. Knees underneath your shoulders, wrists right under. You know what I tried to say there. <laughs> Knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. Spread those fingertips nice and wide. Press away from the floor here. You can play around with curling your toes under or leaving the tops of your feet flat onto the mat. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale, we're going to drop that belly down, send your hips to the sky, look forward, lifting that chin, pressing away from the floor. And as we exhale, pull your back towards the ceiling, tuck your chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll come back into that neutral tabletop position. We're just going to take that left leg, step it forward, and then bring the right leg to meet. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to draw big circles. You stand all the way back up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, release your hands to your heart. Take a breath. Inhale. And exhale. Relax your shoulders down your spine. Take one more breath in. And out. Awesome. Inhale. Sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Big circle. All the way up. Hands to your heart. Step to the center of your mat. Point those toes towards that front wall. Space your legs a little bit wider than your hips. You hang out there while I let him out because he's like done with this. <laughs> All right, you should be standing here with a superhero at this point. Pull your chest towards that thigh. Pull those elbows towards that back wall. Tuck your tailbone under. Feel that stretch through your chest here. And exhale, let it go. Give me a shoulder roll. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, slow and controlled, always bending right from your hips. Inhale, length and halfway lift. Holding it there, keep your fingertips of that left hand onto the floor. Inhale, open that right arm all the way up to the sky. And again, you can always play around with that variation of where you would like that hand. You can even play around with bending one knee and then the other while we're hanging out up here. Just focus on that breath. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, release that right hand down. Plant those fingers. Inhale, lift that left arm all the way up to the sky. You can either look up, look out, or look down, but resist gravity. Right? You don't need to just have dangling heads here. That should be a song for someone's like rock band, dangling heads. Anyways, terrible jokes on the way. Take a big inhale. Exhale, go ahead and release that hand down, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. I want you to go ahead and bring your hands right to the base of your head. Find your stability through your feet here. Inhale, come into that halfway lift as we also send our elbows wide. You can have a bend in your knees if you'd like. And exhale, fold. Tucking your chin into your chest. Feel that lengthening here. No pulling on your head though. Inhale, lengthen. Send those elbows wide. And exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. In, out, last one, holding it at the bottom, release your hands down, inhale, coming into our halfway lift, bending through that left leg, sweeping your right leg back behind, and sending your hips to your heels, coming back into our child's pose here. Extend your arms long, release that forehead down, take a big breath. Inhale, and exhale. 
So allow yourself to be still here, noticing what's going on in your body, noticing what may be going on in your mind as well. Are you thinking of a million other things right now? Or are you simply focused on your breath? Big inhale, big exhale. And this is our time to just be still to find that rejuvenation that we oh so need from rushing and rushing and rushing around. So bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And with that next inhale, come back into our tabletop position. Knees under hips. Got it right this time. <laughs> and your wrists right under your shoulders. This time we're going to do some circles through our spine. So as we inhale, we're going to drop that belly and then send it to the left. Lift it all the way up. Send it to the right. And just start to create this circular movement all around. You can bend through your elbows if you need to. You can curl your toes under if you need to. Just kind of play around, getting free within your body. You can begin to move your head with that circle as well, getting an extra stretch through your neck. And then wherever you're at, rotate that direction to the opposite way. Just focusing on that breath. Inhaling as you lift, and exhale as you lower. We'll do one more circle and then come back into our neutral tabletop position here. And walk your hands back, coming into a kneeling position, just stretching through the bottoms of our feet real quick. Take a big inhale, lift your shoulders up, and exhale, relax them back and down. You can release your hands to your side here. And exhale. Try this without putting your hands everywhere. Step or standing, arms up and overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, bring your palms together right at the center. And then step to the center of your mat again. And this is fun, you guys. We're going with the flow, not using our arms. And I'm throwing all the stuff at you today. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, release them down to your hips here. I want you to just angle your toes away from your body. You might want to bring your feet in just a little closer. Heel, toe them in. You're going to feel real crazy, but that's okay. So what I want you to do is bring your hands right to your heart. We're going to slow and controlled bend at the hips and start to lower all the way down and into a really deep squat here. Connecting your elbows to your knees. Now, if you can only come down to here with your hips lifted, that is okay. Just make sure you keep that chest lifted as well. And in time, you'll be able to drop to an even deeper squat here. Really lift through your chest. Lengthen through your neck, through your spine. Press your elbows into your knees and press your knees into your elbows at the exact same time. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Now you can stay right here or you can play around with lifting one heel and then the other. Now you see why I had to stretch your feet, right? Just focus on that breath, lifting one, then the other. And then if you want an even more of a challenge, you try to lift both heels off the ground at the same time. Find something out in front of you to hold your gaze, hold it there. Three, two, one, slow and controlled, release your feet down. Great job. You're probably burning at this point, but hold on to that. And I want you to release your left hand down to your left foot. Open that right arm all the way up. Feel this big stretch through your chest here. This nice thoracic opening. 
Use that big breath. Really feel the air going to the base of your lungs right now. One more breath in. And as we exhale, bring that right hand to the right foot. Open up that left arm all the way up to the sky. Again, keep that elbow pressing into your thigh here. Feel that air going to the base of your lungs. One more big inhale. Exhale, release both of your hands to the center. Slow and controlled. Lift your hips. Point your toes forward. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and bend in that left leg. Sweep that right leg all the way behind. Bring those big toes together, knees as wide as the mat. Send your hips to your heels in your child's pose. And I know you guys earned this one. Walk your hands out in front. Relax your forehead down. And just breathe. You can always bring your hands underneath of your shoulders. Just surrender a little bit more. And just focusing on that breath, helping it calm us, both in our body, lowering that heart rate, and even in your mind, just bringing your attention away from the chaos, away from your to-do list, away from maybe the past or the future, and just settle right here in the moment on our breathing. Inhale, exhale, and just noticing what that oxygen feels like as it enters into the body, and as it leaves. And go ahead and bring a big smile onto your lips, and I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for for today. into our tabletop position. And this time we're going to take that right leg, send it forward, and then frame that foot with your hands, keeping that left leg back behind you. You can scooch it back even farther if you need to. Go ahead and curl your back toes under. Inhale, lift that knee away from the floor if you'd like that challenge. And exhale, let it go. Lift through your chest here. And exhale. Just holding it here in this low lunge. Exhale, release that back knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. And exhale, pull those elbows down to the floor. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower those elbows. One more, in and out. Great, release your hands forward. We're going to bring that right hand inside of the right foot, send your right leg back, bring your left foot forward. And do it again on the opposite side. So again, frame that left foot with your hands, curl your back toes under, lift that knee away from the floor, hold it here, send your chest forward, take a breath. Exhale, let it go. See if you can really lift that knee away from the floor here. And exhale, this time go ahead and release it down. Inhale, sweep those arms up and overhead. Really lift through your chest here. And exhale, pull those elbows down and back behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And out. Great. Go ahead and bring your hands down and as gracefully as you can, come down onto that left foot cheek. Sweep your right leg in front of you and plant both of your heels on the floor. Take a big inhale. Walk your body towards your knees here. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a big giant hug. Sit up nice and tall. And exhale. Just tuck your chin into your chest. Take a moment. Inhale. 
inhale, lengthen. Go ahead and release your arms out in front of you, palms open to the ceiling. Go ahead and get a nice straight back here. We don't want any rounding in the spine. Pull your knees in towards the center. Inhale. Exhale. Sink it back. Feel your abs engaged here. You can stay right here if this is enough of a challenge for you and kind of play with the depth, how far you're going to lean back, how far you're going to come forward, even pulse if you would like. Or you can take the next step. Bring one foot up and then the other, table topping your feet, getting a nice 90 degree angle here in your legs, straight through your spine. Focus on that breath. Big inhale and exhale. Keep your knees pulling into the center. Keep your chest lifted. Keep a nice straight back. Sorry, I'm bossy. That's why you came though. <laughs> Take a big inhale and exhale. Release your feet down. Grab your knees. Lengthen through your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, roll up through your spine. We'll do it again. Send those arms out, palms open to the ceiling. Choose your challenge if you're just going to sink it back or step one foot out and then the other. And if you'd like to go even more of a challenge, try to straighten through your legs here. Pull your upper body closer to your legs. If you find that you're rounding through your spine, point your toes, feel the shake, feel the burn. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, wherever you're at, sink an inch. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sink two. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, all the way out, slow and controlled. Release those arms up and overhead, big stretch here. And exhale, bring your hands down to your hips, walk your feet towards your hips here. Take a moment to just take a breath in and out. You guys are working hard tonight. I'm proud of you. Really press your feet into the mat. Press your hands firmly into the mat as well. And inhale, lift your hips all the way up. Lengthen your chin so it's going straight up, getting that space in your neck. And exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Big breath, holding it there. And then exhale. Release it all the way down. This time we're going to hold it at the top. Inhale, lifting all the way up into your bridge, holding it here. Really pull your knees into the center. Now you can stay right here if this is enough of a challenge for you, or you can try to extend one leg, planting it back down, and then the other, really pointing through your toes here. And keep that going. Just really engaging all the stuff, getting a little workout in, but also at the same time giving your upper body a break. Go ahead and hold your feet here, lift your hips a little higher, and exhale, release it all the way down, pull your knees into your chest, give them a little hug. Hold it here in the center and just take a breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands together right at your heart. And go ahead and lift the bottoms of your feet. And you can come up and try to catch your shins. Maybe you want to catch the outside edges of your feet here. Or you can take your peace fingers and catch your big toes. Find a variation of this child's pose that's going to be comfortable for you. And you can either stay right here, just allowing gravity to do its work pulling your legs closer to the ground, or you can kind of find a little sway side to side, finding that freedom that we once had as tiny little babies. Just feeling it out, noticing where you're holding in that tension. Notice if you're even finding resistance within your body as you're trying to have this freedom and mobility. And when you're ready, Come back into stillness, take a big inhale. And with that exhale, release the bottoms of your feet together and then down to the center of your mat, bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, press your hands into your thighs, 
Feel your low back opening up just slightly as we get a little traction in. Inhale, release. And exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. One more. In. And out. Awesome. Go ahead and release your hands to the outside edges of your thighs. Pull your knees into the center. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat here. You can just release your hands to the floor, onto your body, whatever feels comfortable for you. Inhale, we're gonna drop our knees towards the right side of our mat. Exhale, bring it back up. Inhale, opposite side. Just trying to keep your low back onto the floor. So we move through our hips a little bit more. Connecting to your breath as you move. Noticing your entire body slowing down as we slow down the practice. Great. Bring your legs back to center. Walk your feet back in. We're going to bring your legs into a tabletop position. Now, if your arms are on your body, I want you to either bring them wide or bring your arms into a giant goal post here. Nice tabletop with your legs with an inhale. Exhale, I want you to release your legs to that left side, feeling that stretch through the right side of your body. Go ahead and look towards your right hand here. Now you can take that left hand away from the goalpost onto your knees if you'd like a little deeper stretch. Or you can stay right here, feeling that stretch through your pec. One more big inhale. And exhale. Bring it back to center, bring your legs into our tabletop, readjusting your arms as needed, and then release to the right side this time. Looking towards your left hand, focusing on that breath, big inhale. And exhale. One more in. And now, awesome, inhale, come back to center, pull your knees into your chest, catch them with your hands. And then exhale, release your left leg. Come on your right. Allow your feet to fall open as wide as your mat. Release your arms down to the ground, palms open to the sky. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a big inhale. And with that exhale, I want you to tuck your chin towards your chest, really feeling that lengthening through your spine. You can use your hand to assist if you would like. Inhale, lengthen, lift your chin to the sky. And exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, tuck. We'll do two more. Last one. Great, go ahead and just allow your head to come to a nice, comfortable position as you move into our final pose, Savasana. You made it. Now don't check out of this video right now because this is that most important part where you can just take this moment or several moments to just be still, be present, and just breathe. So I want you to take the biggest inhale you've taken all day in. Exhale, press it out twice as long. Inhale, catch your breath. Exhale, twice as long. Inhale. One more time, press it out. And just let your breath come to a nice normal rhythm. Feel your entire body relaxing. Just be still.
And that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. Pat your eyelashes. Open and close. And then when you're ready, roll onto your side facing me. Use your arms to flow and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. Inhale, come on up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Sitting up nice and tall. Hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring your hands all the way up to your forehead. And exhale, let it go. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, bow forward. Continuing our practice. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you, you know, entertained all of the fin and all of this. It is why you come, right? A little bit of peace, a little bit of entertainment, and maybe a little chaos at the same time. It's a happy little marriage. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys showing up and taking that time to spend with me. And those of you who have already gotten your tank top from the second batch, I so appreciate you guys. So I would love for you guys to continue sharing that link. There's a limited time that these tanks will be available and I don't know how long it will be before I do a third release, if I do a third release. So with that, you guys, if you were here and you love this session, leave it in the comments. But I always want to know who is here. Are you actually enjoying these or am I just like a crazy person showing up here in this space all the time? Anyways, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys later.